What's going on miners? I'm Chum Change XD. In today's video, we're going to be building a custom heat loop with a three-speed boiler pump just to try to cool some mineral oil. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Just a fair warning. If you guys are sensitive to ruining electronics or possibly a GPU, this video might not be for you. We have an RX 574 gigabyte GPU that has some custom heat sinks on it that I just put on in a fashion that definitely triggered some people. So that's the reason for the warning. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll leave a link above. But we're going to try to solve the uh, cooling issue in this video and hopefully I can get it to work. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm possibly going to ruin something in this video. So again, reason for the warning. I appreciate you guys stopping by if you're not into that. But for those of you that want to see it, let's do it. What's going on miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. So today we're going to be taking these uh, old radiator tubes that we actually got out of a customer's house and I'm going to repurpose them to try to cool down the mineral oil tank. So if you guys are into that, let's do it. All right, so first step. As you can see, these things are completely filthy. I need to clean them. So I have my 1600 PSI little Ryobi pressure washer here. It does 1.2 gallons per minute. This thing is absolutely killer for any homeowner to own. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna be pressure washing both of these fins. This was actually one piece at one time. I had the guy at my shop cut the uh, thing in half basically and thread the other end. So this is a fresh thread and so is that. What I was doing is just checking the threads to make sure they all worked. And these are a bunch of old fittings that I actually had kicking around in my shop. So now I got these leaning against my trailer tire and I'm just gonna spray them off. All right, so I just flipped them over and did the same thing. Um, there's still a little bit of paint on them and stuff, but you know what is what it is. Like I said, these are used, I'm just repurposing them. All right, so those are all drying in the sun. It's actually gorgeous out today. So I figured I would just do this outside. I have measurements of the top of the fish tank right there and then this right here i actually had it in my basement window at one point when it was like scaldering down my uh, studio before i like redid it and everything so this is going to come in handy i'm going to end up laying this on top of the cut that we make and i'm going to drill a couple holes where the fans are to extract the heat through the top of the tank through the actual fins here and if you look at this right i swear this wasn't planned but how perfect is that? It literally fits perfect. So what I'm gonna do is that, we're just gonna let these dry out. So we got some hole saws, got my drill, got my skill saw. I'm just gonna use this as a straight edge because uh, I don't know where my T-square is. It's, it's buried somewhere, I gotta find it. Uh, these channel locks are actually for the pump, tightening that. So just before you go crazy with uh, you know getting heavily invested into cutting a piece of plywood, what I suggest is you guys rip apart and test fit before you go too crazy. So I need to more or less remove all of this stuff. Give me a second, let me get this top all ripped apart. I'm gonna get the plywood in here. I just wanna make sure it fits. Then I can uh, proceed to drill the holes and get everything mounted. This thing actually fits well. The cords are hanging out still, so I need to cut a little notch in the corner, but I more or less wanted to make sure that it fit, and it does. It's on the lip on both sides, so that is the biggest thing. So now let's get back outside a little bright out here, but it is what it is. Okay, so we got the Takeo pump. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of fittings. These are the flanges that actually go on it. Again, had the stuff kicking around in my shop. I did have to go grab some bolts for the uh, mounting of the flanges, but this is the idea. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this pump. I'm gonna put the pump right here. Probably something like this, I'm thinking. Just because the top of the tank is only so big. So I'm gonna have it come straight down through the center here, like the pipe, up into the bottom of the pump because it fits pretty much perfect. Then I'm gonna have out of the top of the pump that's gonna be right here, it's gonna come up, it's gonna go over, down, and into this side. Then directly out of this side, it's gonna go straight down through the plywood. Now you can see the fans that I have just kinda sitting like that. This radiator, or these radiators, both fit perfectly. So I'm debating if I should actually lay them flat and just have them over the yellow. That's probably the best idea. So I think I'm actually gonna do that because the more surface area these fans can hit, the better it's gonna be cooled. So the first thing I actually need to do is get this tightened up so I can actually see how tight everything is once it gets screwed together. All right, so pump, 
as you can see the pipe is coming down here it's going to be drilled directly through like right here then we have obviously the radiators the pipe comes up across over it goes into this guy right here it's going to feed through this one loop around come back and then straight down through all right so look at this we have enough room for a fifth fan, as you can see, it gives a little bit to bring the pipe down on this side, so that's sweet. This hole saw is pretty much exactly the same size all the way around. So that's huge. So this is the one I'm going to use. And just like that, we have 10 holes in the plywood. Check it out. This is literally like a glove. It's perfect. So. Yeah, now what I have to do is go get some more yellow clips just to extend one more and I need to get all the white fans. I gotta strip these apart and then uh, do that. But first, actually, I'm gonna take this guy right here. I'm gonna put this back up on top because we need to mark the uh, holes going down into the liquid on both sides. So let's do that. I made a damn mess, but at least it is all complete. So now what I gotta do is take this and go paint it because I want it to be all black. All right, so check it out. It's all set, got the fans mounted. I actually put real screws through it. So the thing will be, uh, you know, perfectly able to hold itself together just because I felt like it was a little thin in the middle, obviously from drilling all the holes. This is how it's gonna sit on the actual uh, unit. This is where the wire is gonna come through to go out of the top of the tank to the wall. Then I have, obviously, you guys know, the pipe coming from under there. Now I need to wire this thing up. All right, that's done. So now, obviously, there's the cord. I'm going to, I have a plan, right, for the manifold that's going to be coming down through and going across. I'm going to screw this up underneath. So I need to measure how far this actually is right here. So I'll say about three inches and I will screw that cap underneath. Just before I build the manifold, I'm gonna fill this screw hole with some silicone. So this glue right here will definitely ruin this desk. So I'm gonna do it on top of some cardboard. All right, so check it out. To be honest, I didn't even think about the height and this just fits. So I had to remove the piece of plywood that I had coming across the ceiling here. So once I removed that, this was actually able to fit, but I couldn't get it all in in one piece. So if you noticed, I ended up cutting it here and I had to repipe this to get this uh, to work. So yeah, that's that. So now, moment of truth. It's been a couple hours since I glued this all up. I wanted to give it time to dry. Man, I'm nervous, but let's do it. Check it out. So I got this thing up and running, right? Absolute nightmare, by the way. So when you have a loop of liquid, you need to purge it, okay? So <laughs> I had these uh, tubes all sticking in those T's, more or less like this first one right here. And I had to take a rubber glove because I didn't have enough caps like this to actually put over the ends. So I took a rubber glove and I electrical taped around all the fingers like I cut the fingers off and just kind of covered it and then I had to literally put this on and suck out the air to uh, get this liquid to go up the pipe because that pump was just getting air locked and it couldn't make enough suction to get through so once it got up to the top it pulled you know gravity and did its thing but it was a complete nightmare so anyways this thing's up and running now. I have not plugged the unit in yet, so let's see how she works. And you know, my luck, obviously only one row of lights would work, but all the fans are working, so. Here's what it is. These ones are blowing out through, and this one is sucking air into the tank. Don't know how much that's actually going to help. Real quick, I do have a Milwaukee, uh, this is an infrared gun to look at heat pipes through the wall or like radiant heat in a floor. Right here on the pipe, we are looking at 89 degrees. So it's definitely uh, definitely cooling through the fans, which is cool. Now, if I point at the GPU into the oil, you can see the oil is about 86. Or if we put the laser on the uh, actual GPU die where that is, same thing, right around 86. All right, so this is the issue we're running into, right? So we only have seven mega hash right now, and this is because the unit is more or less thermal throttling, if I had to guess. Hopefully nothing's ruined on it. I mean, I don't think it is because it keeps going up to around 20 and then back down uh, here and there when it first starts. So as you can see, accepted 20 shares, two hours, that's terrible. 
Let's go to the hive shell quick and I wanna show you what we're running into. So as you can see right here, it says watchdog GPU zero, temperature 85C is over the limit 85C stopping GPU work. So the algorithm is physically holding back this GPU so it doesn't burn out. That's a good thing, that's what we want. So moral of the story is this cannot stay under 85 degrees, which is causing it to not work properly. So I have to either reassess something or figure out a way to make this cooler. All right, so unfortunately, this is a bust, I guess, but it was a fun project to do. So I could take this GPU out, right, and use this universal GPU water block. It literally just goes over that uh, GPU die right there, and then I could just run water through it, maybe, inside that tank and have it come up and go to a a regular water radiator. I don't know if that would maybe help, but I don't know, that's a lot of work. So I guess we'll see, it really depends. I might end up taking this thing off and ripping it apart again, but for the time being, I think I'm just gonna shut this down and call it a day. And uh, we'll say it was a fun project, but I don't recommend it for anybody else. So what'd you guys think? Unfortunately, as you know, the temperatures didn't really get any better and I honestly can't run the tank like that. So kind of stinks, but at the same point, at least now I know that the high heat baseboard with that steel tubing is not gonna work. They actually do make a different high heat baseboard that is like copper with aluminum fins. So I might just do some sort of like regular fin tube, copper and aluminum, and I guess uh, we could see if that disperses the heat or I could just add an extra loop on top of that tank and hope that would do something. So let me know if you guys are into that. Do you want me to keep messing around with this thing until I finally get it? Or do you think we should just call it quits? I guess you guys can let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you guys appreciated this video, please don't forget, go down here and hit this like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys haven't seen this video or this video, please go check them out and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.